Adam, parents at a Duluth elementary school are speaking out after a change they feel is jeopardizing their students' safety. Northern News Now's Kara Kopp attended tonight's Parent Teacher Association meeting. She explains their concerns and how school leaders are responding. Like many parents, Jennifer Garland is used to a standard procedure when dropping off her two kids at Congdon Park Elementary School. Locked front, vestibule doors. It's been a very effective system and it's really created that sense of security that nobody can just come in. When you enter Congdon, you walk in one door and into a vestibule. Then you walk into another door to get into the front office. Right now, both of those doors are locked. A system many parents want to keep, but last week, Superintendent John Magus announced a change. We um, found out that the doors, it had, it had been mandated that the doors would no longer be locked here at Congdon Park Elementary School. This change means the first door will be unlocked and the second door will still be locked. From there, parents would have to be buzzed into the office by administration, a decision that Garland doesn't like. She, along with 200 other parents and teachers at Congdon, have signed a petition asking the school district to reconsider for their students' safety. Because this school has single pane glass, it has a wide open lobby where the kindergartners spend a lot of time during the day. Um, it doesn't have a security officer or metal detectors. But at Monday's PTA meeting, Magus explained that this is already the policy at the district's other elementary schools. I, I also understand where that passion comes from, uh, but really we're just, um, just asking Congdon to follow the procedures that we follow in all of our schools. Magus responding by saying the vestibule was actually added with safety in mind, including to help keep students and parents out of the elements. That basically was a taxpayer investment of millions of dollars to allow for that because you want to make sure that you're balancing safety and welcoming schools. The parents, teachers, and school district leaders still hoping to come to a compromise. We would like the door to be relocked until we all have a chance to have a discussion and some input on the issue. In Duluth, Car Cop, Northern News Now. Tonight was a PTA meeting, so no decisions were made. Magus did say he will continue to listen to parents' concerns and he'll try to work with school leaders on finding solutions. He also added Duluth police and school resource officers examined this change and they did not feel it would jeopardize safety.